Right. <clears throat> so I don't know that it's time for caterpillars yet, but I haven't found any. I'll keep trying for them. Uh, what I might do now, I might just put a bit of background in just to see how much more I need to do. There's a bit of modelling I need to do just to show the surfaces of, of, of his face and, and his the contours. But if I do the background now, it might just help me decide how much to do. I'm gonna, it's quite a dark background, so I'm going to use a big mixture of neutral tint and I'm going to put blue in it there and then I'm going to put burnt sienna in it there but I'll just start off with the neutral tint there I'll just gently just push it around the contours there and then on the paper so it's a dry paper but I'm, I'm mixing Paint into it on the. You have to work quite quickly doing this, but it's a little bit of excitement for us. So it comes down there, and just going back up there because I don't want that to dry just yet. Let's put that dark colour in, and then back down there. It's too big because it'll start looking a little bit like a donkey if we do that. Okay, so I'm just changing it to a bit of, of a bluer mixture now as I go around the back here. It's nice that it's a dark but it's got colour. So it just adds a little bit of extra, a bit of interest to the painting. And then bluer as it goes away. And just let it fade out a little bit there, I think. There we go. That's all right. I'll just carry on around the nose a little bit, see if I can get that punching out. The nose is quite dark and it's quite warm around the lips there, so I'll just leave that little gap and then I can put some burnt sienna and yellow ochre in if I think I need to. So that's the shoulder. Very carefully there. There we go. So that helps us see how much we need to do to the, the modelling on the face now. Just a few little things. It's going back to the same colours we started with. So crimson with a bit of ultramarine. Tiny bit of yellow ochre in it. Just change that to a bit darker. Just join it up with that. So it's quite severe at the start, but I'm just going to blend the edges. And then if I make that mixture a bit bluer. sure about that there, just gently just soften that. Ok, 
cooler there. Just going to blend that because it's not really doing where I want it to do that. So just wetting it and just pushing the colour about a bit. And I'll come back to it in a minute there. It's quite dark on the back of his ear there. So I'll just drop that blue in. Whoops. And there's a there's a little bit of a marking, so it has got some warm little areas. There's a bit of burnt sienna, just some there, and there's some a little bit of dappled brown there on his shoulder. Just drop that in. And on the eye, there's a the grey comes down a little bit further than that. And then if I make up neutral tint again. Just do some little markings like that. Just a little bit of fine tuning there. There's a few little areas, there's a little fold there with a vein. I don't want it too strong, but if I just put a bit of blue on there. some stronger shaded colour into the, the plat just to give that a bit of a bit of oomph. Okay, that lights on the camera.
and then some more of that little like splatter marks there there's a little bit of mark in there so let's put um, good I think that's nearly done that now just just sit back and just have a look if there's anything else I think that'll do it. It's a bit simpler uh, than the other one, so okay, I think I'll leave it at that. So if you have a go at that and let me know how you get on.